really hard on their clothing projects. It's all here. So we're going to start with our grade 10 first, our grade 11 first. Um, so this is the whole class of grade 11. They're hats off. Let's start with these ones. These lovely hats are the results of a planning project that involves sketching and pointing the elements of design, as well as using recycled fabrics. to develop precise sewing. Well done, girls. Next up, these shorts just came off the wall. We are really, really in a, just right off the top. These are our grade eights, our first sewing class. So here we have recently, the most recently finished grade eight group. here. They've been working really hard in grade 11 to develop their fitting skills. So up here they've got tops and bottoms that they've made, those really difficult things, and we know that they can transfer these skills to any other project now that they've done it. Well done, grade 11. Now we have something entirely a little bit different actually. We have something from our R10 class. This is their wearable art project and this is a collaboration between different students on each of these garments that they've made. So R10 and wearable art. great class, this project-based textiles. So the students get to choose what they would like to do for their final project. So what you're seeing now are student choice projects. This is Laurel, and this is her first year at sewing, and she's decided to make this comfortable summer daisy print romper with front button closing. Well done, Laurel. Right. is next in a group and she's wearing a navy blue summer dress with box pleats at the waist and an invisible zipper in the back. A great fitting project for a very first time for a beginner seller. <laughs> Kathleen is next and she's also a first year sewer and she's making a summer, a silver brown cotton print halter dress and she is all ready for summer, Kathleen. Looks lovely. Ihoma is next, and she's wearing a cotton print sleeveless peplum blouse with red piping and a V-back. To complete her outfit, she sewed a self-designed light tan slim skirt. <laughs> so the grade 11s again get to choose for their final project what they want to work on, and Sahira has had her eye on this coat for ages. She has as well as fully lined and two-piece two piece, uh, sleeves. She's really done a lot of work, but isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Christina is next. Christina is wearing a circle skirt, dress complete with a scoop neck and back, and a hidden back zipper. Nice.
Here comes Miranda in her Coco Chanel inspired little black dress. This form fitting midnight black knit has set in sleeves and a high scoop neck. Selena is wearing a dusty rose blouson style romper with raglan sleeves and a self-designed collar. Twin needle top stitching and an invisible zipper clothing are just two of the sewing techniques Selena has employed. Miranda is wearing a vintage butterick lined dress. The square neckline, side zipper, and pleats in the, in the elbow of the sleeve are just a few of the uh, special techniques that she has used. Erica's summer outfit is she's wearing a navy blue Vogue knit top with a turtleneck collar accompanied by a pair of flirty, high-waisted textured shorts. I gotta tell you about these shorts. You might not realize it, but there's a design in this short, and she really had to work on her layout to make that match all the way across that. So well done, Erica. <laughs> Anna bought this lovely plum crepe fabric on her school trip to Italy. She had so much fun creating it into the fitted, vintage-inspired dress with a surprise back. Those lovely buttons, she recycled off her Nona's dress. So that's a quick summary of the skills developed and learned in textiles this year. And so congratulations to all of our students that have, that have really enjoyed doing this work. job thinking about you and praying for you while they did their baking today and then we put that aside and over the last couple of days we've done our sandwiches and we've been really working on this for you just to make a special day for you so on behalf of all your children happy